How do you handle being a mom among all the other things? That you well, being a mom is my first job, and uh, it's the greatest adventure I've ever had. But uh, balancing all of that, a lot of people talk about work-life balance, but it's kind of a balancing act, right? Um, and every, you know, every day is a reprioritization, and things are some days really hard, and some days really joyous. But you have to have really good friends. I have a great partner. And then we really wrap ourselves with family. Um, but the biggest thing is try to be where you are in that moment. So if you're with your children, be with them. If you're working, be there. If you're in your community, be there. And so um, it's not easy, but it is awesome. How old are your kids? Three and six. Oh, wow. They're little. They're little. Wow. Yeah. Um, please share with us, what's your typical day like at Dell? Oh man, so the coolest thing about being a technology company is, is every company now has technology in it. Every organization, nonprofit, humanitarian organization. So I focus on entrepreneurs, and so what I get to do is work every single day with amazing men and women who have wonderful ideas, and we try to empower them with our technology. So my typical day is usually on an airplane heading to see somebody to, to try and be their voice. So this week we're in Washington, D.C. advocating for women entrepreneurs, um, utilizing our technology to really say if they get what they need to scale their companies, they're actually really going to benefit their community, their families, and our kids. Awesome. Um, Elizabeth, you're obviously a very fashionable lady, I have to tell you that, and it's such a rare thing in Silicon Valley. Um, why do you think that's happening, and do is it going to change? What do you think? Fashion? Fashion. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, I think, you know, the most important thing about yourself is, you know, what you project from the inside, right? So beauty is about courage and kindness. And I say that every day to my daughter, mm -hmm. but it's also a lot of fun to have your own style and project what you're feeling on the inside out. And so um, I hope folks, you know, first have the beauty on the inside and then have fun on the outside. Great. Um, what do you think is the best part of being a woman in technology? Well, the best part about being a woman in technology is that I am one and we need hundreds more. Um, I want to see more women in technology and that would make me very happy. But I love technology because it does empower great ideas exponentially. So now with digital especially, the impact that you can make is so powerful and, and women usually think impact first. Mm -hmm. And so I think if we continue to strengthen the intersection between women and technology, we're going to see some awesome global change. Great. Um, I like that. <laughs> um, do you have a mentor that you look up to or do you look for one? How, how does it work? Everyone should have mentors. So I think of mine as my personal board of directors. Mm -hmm. So, you know, who are those six or seven people you go to for different things? I have women I talk to as a mother, mm -hmm. you know, when you go through those highs and lows as moms. I have folks, uh, great men that I talk to and women about business. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I have my best friends that just cheer me up or also tell me when I'm being stupid, yeah. you know. Um, but the greatest mentor in my life was my grandmother. She's passed, but she was a, a very simple woman full of a lot of wisdom and grit, and, and she was awesome. Great. Um, what was the most memorable experience climbing uh, roof of Africa, right? They yes, call it my right. uncle Manjaro. Um, for me, well, two things. Um, getting to the top was extraordinary uh, because it's not about that climb. I worked two years to prepare for it. And so when you work that long, getting to the top was incredible. The other is a lesson learned. I, I never thought about going down. <laughs> So you spend just as much time going back down and it's actually quite hard. It's and harder going down than climbing uh, for up? For me it was actually. It was harder on my knees. Um, you know, the excitement's kind of gone emotionally. Um, I'm really good at trudging through really hard things, but once you get on the other side, I think that can be just as hard. So um, certainly summiting, but also the going down part was a real like eye-opening <laughs> thing about, you know, it's not just about what you finish, it's about both sides of the, the, the towards and the other side. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Well, you I don't know if I could ever do that myself. Um, what's your opinion on influencer marketing today? Mm, influencer marketing. I think it's very powerful and very dangerous. So I have this uh, talk that I give about um, uh, two women that uh, had a Kardashian, a Jenner Kardashian, and then Malala Yousafzai have, have the same birthday and the same birthday week and I always show their picture and I talk about both of them are very powerful influencers 
And I, you know, I don't put any judgment for it. I just say, you know, which one of them is influencing what and in the right way. So I think it's the great debate right now of how we use our influence, um, particularly because we look at 5,000 images a day on our phone on average. So what are our children seeing? What am I seeing? Are they positive messages? What, what are the pictures we're seeing? So I have no answers for it, but I do think we need to pay attention. Yeah, definitely. Um, what do you uh, what do you think about technology and sustainability? Like, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Orange Fiber mm -hmm. company that does the you know textiles. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I actually think technology. I think digital technology is going to be amazing for the environment. If you think about storage, if you think about the way where we put data, we have less less uh, footprint with paper. We have uh, physical storage now is going down because of cloud. So in terms of the digital side of environmental impact, I, I'm really excited about it. I get nervous though about e-waste. So the, think about the amount of stuff we throw away every single day that around electronics. Uh, used to be it was just batteries and compute. Now we think about our phones, every cord, everything. So I think there are extreme upsides with digital and then we have to be very cautious with actual physical e-waste. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and um, what was the best entrepreneurial advice you have ever been given and by who? Wow. Um, my, it's a new thing that I've learned lately and I love it is to fail fast. Uh, Reed Hoffman, who started PayPal and LinkedIn, and I think he's just a good man, uh, talks a lot about trying things very quickly and then um, failing, learning, and keeping going. And so uh, today's Veterans Day, and the Air Force has this amazing tactic that they, they make decisions with 70% of the information, because once you get to 80, things have already changed. And with digital and things moving fast, I think failing fast is a really important thing to think about. Um, and then finally, who, um, what would you recommend to um, young entrepreneurs? Mm -hmm. uh, to do it, to get started, go for it, don't wait, it's our time. Uh, my husband says a lot that it, this is our time now. So don't wait for someone to ask you, don't wait for someone to give you permission, it is our time. So if you have that big idea, even if it might fail, go try it, because it might need, lead to the next big idea. Awesome, thank you so much Elizabeth Gore. Elizabeth Gore, everybody. Thanks.